I receive many calls from people who are wonder how they can keep their cows and their barns clean. Um, there's no easy answer. Um, the barn has to be constructed right and you need to be ready to curry and brush your cows as you milk them. If they're dirty, the secret is it's, all, it's a little bit like a garden. You weed often and enough and you end up with no weeds. If you clean your cows, anytime they get dirty, they stay clean. But one of the keys is the configuration of the barn. With, this is a Jersey cow barn. And what you want to do is make sure that your tread length, right from here, from the curve to your gutter, is probably no more than five foot four inches. You can get away with five feet. And this is a little long. We built this a little long. It's five foot six. And I wish there was were two inches less space because if it's short enough, the cow will stand and poop in the gutter. The tread's too long, or the cow's too far forward, the poop will land on the tread. These are treads are equipped with mattresses called pasture mats, which really reduces the amount of bedding that we need to use. The bedding is here just basically to pick up any moisture that might be on the get on the treads. Another key is this manger design. This is wooden. Um, it's an experimental design based upon pre-World War II manger designs. Um, they were always built like this before they started to use uh, feed carts uh, and feed cows um, with a machine. Um, we don't need to feed anything with a machine here, so we've got this backstop, which means the cows have no reason to get down on their knees and reach for food. Uh, we've got the stall divider extends out in front, keeps the cows from stealing from one another and also getting down on their knees and trying to get to their neighbor's food. Uh, in the wintertime, we do have trailers that we hang from here, um, and that helps. Uh, it's not a magic answer, but it does help. So the combination of uh, making sure your, even your neck rail is in the right position, this is also the water uh, pipe for the water bowls. This needs to be far enough back so that the cows are kept back, especially because we have extra long treads. But the key really is, is that any time they get dirty, we clean the cows. Any time the barn gets dirty, we clean the barn. And uh, during the summer, <clears throat> it's my goal to get the cows in and get them milked and back out without anybody pooping or peeing, so it's not even an issue at all. But I rarely have to clean the gutter in the, in the summer, maybe once a week, if that. Um, and um, so it's, there's no magic solution, no easy answer, but... Uh, making sure your little barn is configured properly, making sure you keep your cows clean, um, those are really the keys. If you have a run-in space for your cows, loose housing, you can't wait and clean the loose housing once a week. You really need to clean that loose housing. You need to go in there with a wheelbarrow and a manure fork and pick it once a day. Uh, get the manure out of there. You can't wait till you clean it up with your tractor because it's it just the cows just get too messy. So. Um, you know, you can do that while you've got a unit on, while you're milking, you can do that, especially on micro dairy, it's not hard. So, those are the keys, for us anyway, and it seems to work. During the winter, the environment in the barn changes completely. The cows often spend hours in the barn if it's inclement weather or slippery or whatever. Uh, if it's cold and snowy and I put them out, even if they've got food out there, they turn around and look at me like I'm crazy. So, uh, the barn is so comfortable they'd rather be inside. <clears throat> There's a lot more manure. I have to clean the gutter twice, at least once a day, sometimes twice a day, just to make it easier. Um, and also, because the barn is relatively small, the manure does splash sometimes, and it used to require a lot of cleanup until we discovered a little trick. And this is just a window well that I've picked up at a building supply place and we have four of them and in the winter when the cows are in at night or during the day we put these right behind them and uh, it stops the splash and uh, on the weekends I hose them down and clean them off uh, but uh, in a little tie barn like that a micro dairy that's a perfect solution um, the cows really can't injure themselves on the sharp edges because they can't they, they they're never disturbed so uh, just put it right like that, and that stops the splash, both from urine and manure. <laughs>